Hey yo, what's happening fish guys? How you doing today? I'm out here by the pond. Blue man playing with the uh, watering can over there. Big fan of the watering can. Super weird, super weird. But today we have an insane day ahead of us. Like we have big decisions to make. It's gonna come down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. We got big decisions to make. I think I'm gonna just start my videos by saying another day, another chum block. That's what we're doing today. Another day, another chum block. Every video, chum block, baby. Cause we, I'm waiting for that freaking dock giant to show himself and I'm gonna catch him. I'm bringing this rod home to my house just so I'm, I got some ammunition. You know, I can fight that thing. But today we got big decisions as in the pond in my house. Blue, why are you eating the watering can and making so many weird noises? Give me this, give me this, give me this. Let go. You just cut my hand. Sit. Good boy, you ready? Three. Rah. Obsessed with the watering can, super, super weird. But today guys, we have to decide right now. I need everyone to start thinking in this video and drop a like. I'm really thinking about making the the see-through pond in my garage, the 1,000 gallon, thinking about making it salt water. I'll tell you why. Now, if this video gets 1,000 likes, it's already a lock. I have to do the saltwater pond. A thousand likes. If you guys want to see it happen, I will make it happen. I think I want to do it anyways, but you got to let me know what you guys think as well. Here's my thought process behind it. We make this, we make the smaller one saltwater, right? Cause you guys know I'm getting the big one in the middle of the garage, the big, big 3000 gallons, something giant in the middle of the garage. But I'm thinking, why don't we start small with the saltwater, a smaller one, 800 gallon, still massive. That's almost three times the size of the other one I had previously. So. We start medium, thousand gallon pond, salt water. We make it salt water. We master the essence of the saltwater pond in a smaller scale, and then we move to the bigger scale, and I can make that one fresh again. Once we get the giant pond in the middle, that pond was 100% gonna be salt water. The big one is gonna be salt. But since I'm not getting that pond this month or today or anytime soon, I'm thinking, I think we have to master the saltwater pond, and it'll give us an opportunity to get a new bumblebee grouper pan. So let me know by dropping a like on this video if it gets a thousand likes. I think we have to make the saltwater pond happen. I wanna make it happen. It's up to you guys now. We can get Stingrays, sharks, bumblebee groupers, epic fish in there. Because what I'm thinking is the freshwater pond, everybody can have a freshwater pond, you know? But we live in Florida, the best place on the planet. I could go out and catch amazing things in the ocean and bring them back to my pond and it would be awesome. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And in regards to Joe, I think I wanna move Joe into one of the 300 gallons and then the grand finale of Joe's life and career will be moving into the giant 4,000 gallon pond at the fish guy headquarters. Talk about a life goal. He went from the Chinese food market to a little tank to my pond and now he's gonna go to the 4,000 gallon pond and swim with the greatest fish in the world. Talk about a life. I love Joe so much guys. So don't even, don't get me wrong. Every time I walk out into my garage, I look at Joe, he's looking at me through the glass. I'm like, man, that fish freaking loves me and I love him too. So I'm not giving up on Joe. He's gonna go to the 4,000 gallon. That's even better than what he's in right now. But tons to do today. Tons to do today, guys. This is not gonna be a slow day. I'm going to be completely revamping the thousand gallon clear see-through pond, decorating the whole thing, draining it, filling it with new water, cleaning it, making sure that it's 100% ready so we can add salt to that pond. And I'm going to take it really slow with this one. I'm going to cycle it for a long time. I'm only going to get little damsels for a good while. I want this thing to be perfect. I don't want anything to go wrong. So I'm, I'm really going to take my time with this one, take it slow, but I think it's going to be awesome. Once we can get sharks, stingrays, barracudas, you name it, I'll get it. I think we got to make it happen. Drop a like if you want to see it saltwater pond but the best part about filming these videos is that in between setting up the pond we are going to be chumming that dock like i said another day another chum block baby another day another chum block i will catch that dock monster mark my words now i'm on my way to get us something very important for the pond let's go get it and then we're back at the warehouse Our first major upgrade to the big pond is gonna be a lot of sand, gonna help see the fish more, and it's just gonna look all around really good. So let's put these things in the truck, get going. No! 
This one opened. <laughs> That's not good. All right, we got our sand. That's gonna make everything look so much better. Two bags exploded. That's the thing about going to Home Depot. Getting all the sand or the rocks, everything always breaks. Woo, I'm winded. Woo, I'm tired. Now let's get back to the house. Throw a chum block in, A, and let's get started on the new, on the new pond. On the new saltwater pond. I'm telling you how it is. It's gonna be salt water. I'm doing it, baby. Let's get started on the new saltwater pond. Let's do it. All right, shall we back at the house? We got the sand. It is a very, very bad day out. There's a lot, there's a big storm coming through, but here's the pond we were upgrading. We got the log in there, and look, I'm gonna clean the whole thing. See how it's like kind of like tinted green? That is because Joe shits more than any fish I've ever seen in my life. Like, I swear to you guys, the man poops like, like no other. He's got a pooping problem, but that's good. He clearly has a healthy digestive system. This is the pond we're gonna be redoing today, making it look even better, but is it gonna be fresh? No, it's gonna be salt. I made the decision. I know you guys wanna see it. I wanna see pots of only grouper, aka pans of only grouper. I wanna see eels, I wanna see stingrays, I wanna see sharks. That's what I wanna do for this pond. So we got a lot of work to do today on this pond. I'm thinking because I'm gonna be here all day working, you know what that means, another day, another chum block. We gotta get a chum block in here. I don't even, I don't, where's the chum block? There's the chum block, there's one of them. We are putting a chum block in today, even though it's a really stormy day out. Look at that, it's gray outside, man, but I don't care. Rain or shine, we throw a chum block in, and I got my rod. So uh, yeah, those big jacks that we saw, consider it done. Let's get that chum block going in the water, and then we'll start working on this pond. Let's do it. Look at this fine piece of ass. Oh my, it's thundering and lightning out here. Ew. <gasps> That's what the shark's like, I swear. All right, we're gonna be quick, it's raining. I'm gonna be super quick. It's really coming down. Oh, get back, get back. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Dude. What? As soon as we start walking, it starts pouring. All right, you gotta keep me under the umbrella. You gotta keep me under the umbrella. Hey. Okay. I'll hold it, I'll hold it. Okay. <laughs> you gotta keep the camera under the umbrella. All right, I got you, I got you. Like I said, another day, another chum block. Oh my God, my legs. Here's our beautiful chum block. Come on, get out. I'm getting soaked, Jack. <laughs> Come on, my back. Dude. Get out of there! Come on, man. Chum block. Chum block. Here's the chum block. <laughs> Throw it in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let it ferment. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Dude, I got chum all over my kneecaps. Ew. Listen, rain or shine, we're chumming the dock. I'm telling you, a shark's coming. Trust me. It is coming down, ladies and gents. It is coming down. It looks like a hailstorm out here. Tell me, that's a big storm. Thank God we're in the warehouse. We're safe from the rain, but we do have the chum block fermenting in the dock. So hopefully it stays in there this time and doesn't get eaten by a giant shark right away. We're gonna check on that as soon as this storm is done, but let's get started on the big pond. We got a lot of changes to make. If we wanna make this salt water, got to add some sand. I'm gonna start with draining this thing and scooping the fish out, especially Joe, I want him to be safe. So I'm gonna get Joe out, and I'm actually gonna move him into there for now. Actually, you know what? I might just keep him in the cooler, and then I'll put him back probably. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I do need to take Joe out and the other fish. Let's get started. Joe, brother in, do not be scared of the storm, my friend. It's just a little bit of rain, all right? Nothing too crazy. We're gonna keep you safe, brother. Do not worry. First step we gotta do is we gotta drain this thing. We have about, not even kidding you, 150 fish in here. There's so many fish in here that I gotta scoop out and since the water level is so high, I'm not gonna be able to net them. We gotta drain this thing all the way to the bottom, add some sand, fill it back up, get those fish out. We got a lot to do. Let's start with this. Big brain right now, it's raining so the neighbors won't be mad at me when I flood the streets. There we go, pond is draining. It is time for a new chapter in our lives. And to make this salt water, guys, because I'm gonna be turning it into salt water eventually, I'm gonna need to get a way better filter, a big air pump, a big power head. I'm gonna have to really make this thing decked out. Because if I don't, nothing will live. So we gotta make this thing pristine, baby. All right, we got the pond draining currently, and I wanna get in there and clean up all that algae on the bottom. That is because I have so many fish in here, and I need to get a little bit more horsepower 
when it comes to the filter. I want to get much more horsepower and much more flow. That's my targets for the new setup. So I got to get in there. I'm going to clean everything, remove all of the fish, add the sand. It's going to look so good when, I'm, when it's all said and done. And then we need to figure out everything with the saltwater pond because it's going to take, it's going to be a game changer. Now, because I don't want to stress Mr. Joe out, who's literally the heart and soul. I love that guy. The best tilapia on YouTube is Joe. I don't want to stress him out. So I'm going to move him from here and the gar. I'm going to put him, I'm going to put them both with Lou and Darth Vader and have him in here. There's nothing really in here. So they'll do perfectly fine in there for now as I get this pond sorted out. Now my thinking, as I, guys, as I explained before, my thinking about doing the saltwater pond in this pond is to really master how to take care and how to perfectly execute a saltwater pond. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start with a smaller one, thousand gallon, and then eventually we'll move to the big one in the middle, which will be upwards of, you know, 3,000 gallons, big pond. We're gonna start small, and as I perfect this, then we get the big one, and then this can go back to fresh. So that's my thought of making these ponds or making this pond salt. Hope you guys are following along. Now we gotta get in there and do some of the dirty work. Now one of the things I gotta do is get this log out so I can really get in there, get all the fish, and it doesn't get in my way. How bad does it stink? Guys, this thing stinks. I don't know if it's gonna be good in the next pond. It's a great piece of wood, but it's getting soft and uh, deteriorating, so it's not very good. Let me know what you guys think I should do with it. Ah, it's so gross! <laughs> Watch out! Ah. That was so heavy, bro. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this on the side of the house for now, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Let me know what you guys think. If you got any tips, let me know. Slimy. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, that's so slimy, guys. Not good, I don't think. Brought reinforcements this time. Now it's time to start getting the fish out, specifically Joe and the gar. Where are you, Joe? There he is. Joe's really fast. Joe's extremely fast. <laughs> One of the fastest species I've ever seen in my life. Come here, Joe. There Got him. Go. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> All right, can relax, Joe. Look how freaking awesome Joe is. That is one of the coolest fish ever. I'm sorry. I don't care if he's a tilapia. I love him. Put him in this bucket for now, and he is gonna be going into the other pond. Now we gotta get that gar out. That was easy. <laughs> Got the gar. The gar and Joe together again. We gotta acclimate them to the other pond. All right, now that we got Joe and the gar out, they're gonna be acclimating over there. We gotta get the other thousand fish I have in here. Get them in a bucket. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I might bring them back to the 4,000 gallon pond and let them loose. That would be pretty epic. Let's try to get as many as we can. They're so fast and so small. Got one. Look at that is a classic cichlid. Here's that really cool pleco we got. This is gonna be going in the pond as well. I'm gonna keep him. That is a really cool fish. So we're gonna move him into the pond as well. And uh, he's gonna be with Joe and the guard. There you go. All right, y'all, we are almost done getting all the fish out. There's two left and they are magician. Check out what we got so far. We got all these fish out right there. And we got the three main stars over here. These are the stars. These guys are going in the other pond. I'm gonna bring them over here. I'm just doing this every once in a while. Get some water in there for them. Slowly do that. Now, we're draining the pond even more, all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna get in there, scrub, make sure all that gook is out, and then we refill, and we start our saltwater pond. Now, before we continue on with the pond, I'm in the midst of cleaning it right now. Let's get these guys in, make sure they're comfy. I wanna get the gar in first, because he's the jumper here. There's our gar. Oh, he went right in. So now, at the end of this, we're gonna have a new gar in this pond, Joe the tilapia, and our new pleco. Let's get the pleco in, and then we get the star of a show. This guy's hard to get, dude. All right, we're gonna get Joe first. With these. Joe, your time to shine, brother. Have fun in here with your new buddies. There's Joe. Let's go, V. <laughs> All right, we got Joe and the gar, now the pleco. And here is the pleco. Boom. All right, three new fish out of the pond. They are gonna do great in here. Back, focusing on the big pond. I'll tell you one thing, guys. I will never do cichlids again, especially wild cichlids. They shit more than anything in the world. Joe mixed with cichlids, combination for disaster, okay? There's a lot of doo-doo in here that I'm trying to get out right now. I wanna make it a complete fresh start for the saltwater pond. We got the pond completely empty, completely cleaned. I scrubbed the whole thing. We are gonna throw in some sand. I wanna add sand to this pond. It's gonna make it look much better, make it pop way more, the white against the black. It's gonna look good. Let's get some sand in there. All right, would you look at that? Milky, milky water right there, baby. That's how we do it. I got six bags of sand in there. I got three extras. 
just in case we need extra. So I'm gonna fill this thing back up, see if we need any more sand in certain areas, and see how we look. We are filling the pond, nice and uh, gross looking. So we're never gonna get that out of control. We are gonna check out the chum log. We haven't checked it all day. I completely forgot about it. And we need to check the chum log. I'm gonna go around. This log, it did so well, and uh, it's just like, I don't even, I don't know if it's gonna work, guys. I think it's just gonna keep deteriorating and messing up the water. So we gotta check on this chum block. It's been all day, we haven't checked on it once. It could have been freaking 10 great white sharks here, and we wouldn't even know. Right, let's see what we got going on. Ooh, a lot of fish, that's for sure. Lot of fish. Lot of fish. Oh, hey buddy, all the dogs hate me when I come outside. It's really annoying. Uh, guys, something ripped off the chum block and the bag, and it floated all the way over there. You know what that means? I have to get in the water and go retrieve it now. In the shark infested chum blocked water. I gotta go get that thing. Don't mind me guys, I just have to go in this black shark infested water and get the chum block that's floated all the way down and there's probably sharks around it. Don't mind me. This could be my last video. <laughs> Not to mention this has a hole in it. This paddle board has a hole in it. So you're gonna, so it's gonna sink. That's it. Hopefully I scared everything away or else a big, that big bull shark's gonna knock me over. How did you get over there? No chum. What? Something took it again. Oh my god, this is bee. I don't like bees. Something took the chum again. So that means there, there's something here. At there's the dock. something here that's taking the chum. Like completely taking the whole thing and submerging this and even ripping it off the dock. Look at this, guys. That's Empty good. chum bag once again. This <laughs> is two times in a row <laughs> that, that this has happened. So something is coming during the day that we missed twice now and just taking the whole chum bag. That is sketch. Okay, that is very sketch. I think that's the thing we hooked twice. Well guys, here is the pond right now. It is super cloudy. It's probably gonna take a couple days to clear. I'm not putting any salt in it or anything yet. I still have to get all that stuff. I'm taking it very slow right now. Just get water in there, let it filter. No fish, let it just sit. And then we add salt, we add our decor, and then we can maybe add a couple little fish, but with them, I'm gonna be very patient with it and let it do its thing. So right now, cloudy pond. And look how cloudy it is. I got the filter going, I got the three power heads going. These are really, really, really weak power heads. I'm gonna have to drop some money on some bigger ones. I wanna get this one that's like 200 bucks. It's really, really good. We have four of them in our 4,000 gallon pond and that's why it looks so clear because there's always really good water movement. But still, it's doing okay, but I still want it to be much, much better. So I'm gonna get a giant power head, probably on this side, pushing while these go this way. Tons of water movement and current in here. And I'm thinking about upgrading my filtration system. We got a lot of stuff to do. This was stage one of the saltwater pond build. Just adding sand. I wish I could show you guys what the sand looks like right now, but this is probably gonna take a couple days to clear. In the case I don't have enough sand, I got three extra bags right there and we will make it happen. So I hope you guys are stoked for the saltwater pond build. This is episode one of the build. We're looking good so far. I cannot wait to go out, find some awesome stuff out there, bring it back to the aquarium. Like we've been catching some ridiculously cool stuff. If you guys haven't seen the Barbers Buzzing videos, go binge watch them all. We've been, we've been catching big stingrays, nurse sharks, a bunch of cool stuff. And I want all that stuff in my pond, baby. Imagine stingrays in here and sharks and groupers. That would be awesome. That's what I wanna do. We're gonna make it happen one step at a time. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to everybody who likes and comments on my videos. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Saltwater Pond is coming along.